Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Dora the Explorer games on the GBA. Dora the Explorer Super Spice is a very basic platformer. In the game you platform, that's about it. You get to use 8 different items which spices things up in the gameplay, only that the items don't change the gameplay. It still remains a basic platformer, even if you have 8 different items. I know, it sounds counterintuitive. How can a game with 8 different items be bland? Well, the game tells you very obviously which item you need, and the game never gets even remotely challenging. It's nice that you can play with boots too, but still, the game is very basic. It's great for kids, as it's simple, but it isn't suitable for adults, or teenagers, or anyone older than a little kid. But don't get me wrong, the game is great, only not for adults, but for kids, it's simple, and it's enjoyable. Dora the Explorer Dora's World Adventure is disappointing. Why? Because it takes you 20 minutes to finish the game. It's way too short. The game is good, it almost feels like an interactive Dora episode, but it's also very repetitive in the gameplay formula. Which is a bummer since the game is so short. I mean, it's short, at least make my 20 minutes varied. But at least those minutes are enjoyable. The formula is like this. You do a level where you have to dot stuff up and down, then comes a section where you roam in space to find items, don't worry, it's super easy to find them, no orientation skills required. And then comes a minigame, which is kind of varied, but it also has the same idea in mind. You have, for example, to count stuff or find shapes. The game is very good for kids who can read, as the game is very easy to solve. So aside of the fact that it's very short, I can't complain about anything. Gameplay wise, it's actually pretty good and even if it has a repetitive gameplay formula, at least visually it remains distinct and gameplay wise it's good. And if you don't believe me, you can look up the gameplay on my third channel, LF3. I have the full gameplay there. It took me precisely 18 minutes and 1 second to finish the game. Dora the Explorer The Search for Pirate Pig's Treasure is just like Super Spice. It has the same gameplay mechanics, the difference between the two is just that you get new levels, a new story, different items, but I've told you how I feel in the previous game about the items. They are distinct visually, but don't help the game feel more varied. Still, it's a good game for kids. And if you liked or your kid liked the first one, then this one being the same is a winner too. Also to be fair, the game was released before Super Spies. And you can see that in the graphics, in the fact that you have less items and that you can swim. Though, even if the sequel is more polished and improved, the two games still remain pretty much on the same caliber. Andorra the Explorer Superstar Adventures is a marvel. I'm amazed what they managed to pull off considering the hardware limitations of the GBA. The guys behind this game had dedication. They combined gameplay elements from all the games on this list, created new minigames and made a varied 40 minute long game that plays incredibly well. It feels as much of an interactive episode as the GBA can handle, there are varied gameplay mechanics all over, the game is super simple, yet is enjoyable to play. I'm impressed. And as an overall conclusion, I recommend all of them. If you ask me which is the best, I would opt for Superstar Adventures. But all of them are super enjoyable and great for kids. Adults will get bored by the gameplay most probably, as the games are super simple. So if you have a kid and want him or her to play some enjoyable game, try any of these games. They are all incredibly well made. 